Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss errors and approximations. In number three, we are told that uh, the base and perpendicular height of a triangle are measured as 8.2 centimeters and 6.3 centimeters, respectively. Calculate the percentage error in calculating the area correct to three decimal places. Remember to subscribe and to share this link. All right, to begin with, we're supposed to know the limits within which the base and the perpendicular height for this triangle have been recorded. So the accuracy of one decimal place means that uh, the absolute error in the recordings, because the two dimensions are to the same accuracy of one decimal place, then we will pick the accuracy 0 0.1 and we divide it by two. This gives us an absolute error of 0 0.05 this is the absolute error in the recording of the dimensions both the base and the perpendicular height so this means for us to get the limits of recording the base then we need to take 8.2 and we add and subtract 0 0.05 so this means the base is ranging from 8.15 centimeters up to 8.25 centimeters so that is the the limits of the base we can check the perpendicular height perpendicular height 2 is going to range between 6.3 and the same absolute error of 0 0.05 will either be added or subtracted meaning that the height on this side is going to range from 6.25 the lower limit up to 6.35 centimeters the upper limit now with the limits in which the dimensions have been recorded we can uh, now go ahead to calculate area maximum generally the area of a triangle is usually given by a base times the perpendicular height so for us to get area maximum we need half which is a constant multiplied by the upper limit of the base which is 8.5.25 that is multiplied by the upper limit of the height 6.35 so now we're going to record this 0 0.5 multiplied by 8.25 multiplied by 6.35 the maximum area is going to be 26 point 19375 square centimeters then now we can go for area minimum the minimum area is going to be half which is a constant multiplied by the minimum or the lower limit of the base 8.15 multiplied by the lower limit of the height 6.25 then when this uh, is carried out we're going to have half multiplied by 8.15 multiplied by 6.25 this is going to give us 25.46 25.46875 square centimeters then there is a what we call the working area or other the actual the area actual this is going to be half multiplied by now the dimensions in the way they've been recorded this is 8.2 and a height of 6.3 so this is going to give us half multiplied by 8.2 multiplied by 6.3 this is exactly giving us 25.83 25 
square centimeters, of course. Now we can work on a we can work on what we call absolute error. Absolute error, which is going to be when we take area maximum minus area minimum, then we take the average. This is going to be, we need a 26.19375 minus a 25.46875. Then we take now the average. So this is going to give us 26.19375 minus 25.46875, 0 0.725 divided by 2, I'm getting a 0 0.3625. That is the absolute, the, the, the absolute error. There's something else called a relative error, which is usually given by absolute error divided by the actual area. So now we need to take 0 0.3625 and we divide it by the actual area, 25.83. This is going to give us exactly 0 0.0146. That is what you call the relative error. And finally, we will have now the percentage error. This one is obtained by relative error expressed as a percentage, just multiplied by 100. So when we take 0 0.014034 and we multiply by 100, we're going to get 1.4. But remember, we've been told uh, to bring our answer to 3DP. So I'm going to have 1.403 expressed as a percentage.